welcome to the 2020 Summer Scamper for the Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. This is our 10th anniversary scamper, but it is our very first virtual summer scamper. So welcome. Now, it's not quite as rowdy this year as usual. Usually we're running across the Stanford campus. There are cowbells, there are posters, there's cheering and chanting. Uh, but we're going to make it almost exciting right here from my home office. Now, because we are not together in person, I want to say I can still feel your energy coming through, and it is awesome. I'm Cynthia Brandt, and I'm president and CEO of the Lucille Packard Foundation for Children's Health. Our mission is to do everything we can to help moms and kids be healthy. One of our jobs is raising money for the Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. And we do that to help the clinics provide great care and to help our faculty do research that ultimately improves care as well. Now we raise that money by working across the whole Packard community to do so. And the Summer Scamper is our largest community fundraiser of the year. Patients and families create teams for the Scamper, care providers create teams, and then we all come together to raise money, have fun, and really get inspired. In fact, I think it's the most inspiring day of the year. So this year on Sunday, I'll be out with my dog. We're aiming for 10K, but we might actually only get 5K, but we're gonna go for it. And we scamper to celebrate our Packard patients and our Packard care providers for their courage and their dedication. Now, you know, pediatricians, our very best doctors in the world, nurses who work with kids and social workers, radiologists, are every single person on staff at Packard Hospital is the very best. They all rely on community support to be able to do their work to help kids. And every single dollar that we raise with you through the Summer Scamper will make a difference. So I wanna give a special shout out to our Platinum and Spotlight sponsors. That's Delta Airlines, CM Capital, and the Stanford Federal Credit Union. And to all of our teams, all of our fundraisers, thank you so much. Now, if you have not signed up yet, or if you have not made your very most generous gift yet, there's still time. Go to summerscamper.org, sign up for a team, make a gift, make an additional gift, uh, because it all makes a huge difference. Now I want to welcome a really special guest joining us from her home in San Antonio. Caitlin and I got to meet last year when she and her parents came to visit our foundation at our offices in Palo Alto. Caitlin shared her Packard story, which is incredibly inspiring. And then, as if that isn't enough, she made her own gift to the Children's Fund at Packard Hospital. Then her parents, in order to support Caitlin as a young philanthropist, made a gift as well. Thank you so much to your whole family. As you can imagine, that was the very best day we've ever had in the office. Now this year, Caitlin agreed to be one of the patient heroes for the summer scamper. And if you haven't seen her video yet, you have got to go to the website and watch it. Uh, it shows Caitlin doing one of the things she loves most, which is ice skating. And it's really fantastic. Caitlin, it's so good to see you again. Happy to see you too. Oh my gosh. I have a couple of questions that I want to ask you on behalf of all of us here at The Scamper. And the first one is that you have been such a loyal patient at Packard Children's Hospital. And we would love to hear your Packard story. Well, thank you for having me and for including me in your patient heroes. So I was born with a condition called amniotic band syndrome. And at four days old, my parents met Dr. Schindel and the craniofacial anomalies team at Packard Children's. And they have helped us kind of just learn about my condition, helped my parents get to know all the specialists that were needed for my 16 surgeries and the staff and the doctors and nurses and volunteers, they've all been great and have supported my family so much. Even after moving to San Anto LA and San Antonio, we have always returned to Packard 
for more surgeries. I loved going to the garden. I loved going to the playroom. I loved having popsicles. <laughs> it was places like the playroom and the garden that just made our connection to Packard so special and the experience so special. I love that part. We talk about the Packard brand of care and caring for the whole kid and the whole family. And so I love your story so much, Caitlin. Thank you for sharing that. Now, one of the things we're talking about today is giving back and that the summer scamper is an incredible way for people to give back to Packard Children's Hospital. So I thought I'd ask you, what inspires you to give back to Packard? So my parents have always taught me since I was really little that giving back is one of the most important things to do. Packard Children's has been such an important part of my life. And I feel that I can help support them the same way they supported me by fundraising for them and just giving other kids the same opportunity I have. I think probably the most important thing and the reason that I was inspired to give back was the joy and hope that it would bring to other patients and families. I just, I really hope that sharing my story and my experience with Packard can give some hope to other families and just support them in their journeys as well. I love that. Hope and joy. Those are like organizing things for all of our lives. I, I thought I'd ask you if you'd like to, um, speak directly to some of the kids and their families who are just starting uh, their Packard journey. First off, Packard is an amazing hospital. The staff and the doctors and nurses and volunteers are always so excited to be there. They provide a, a very comforting environment. Um, I think that it's important for patients and parents and families to know that Packard provides a lot of resources as well for helping them learn and understand their child's condition and then helping them with their journey. And that everyone at Packard is excited to be a part of the journey and tries to make it as fun as possible. One of the things I like to say is that we are all in. Like we're all in with every kid and every family, uh, just like you're describing, uh, Caitlin. Okay, my last question is um, kind of lighthearted. We'd like to hear a little bit about your favorite hobby, ice skating. I started skating when I was eight years old and it has been a very important part of my life. I have loved the sport since the day I started and my love for the sport grows every day. It has provided me with a lot of strength as well, strength to get through all my surgeries and everything. Um, I know my least favorite part about having the surgery is not necessarily the medicine or the surgery itself, but rather the recovery period before I can get back on the ice. It's, it's so freeing and you feel like you're flying, just skating around. It's also very encouraging for me to know that if I can fall and get up over and over again on the ice, then I know that I can accomplish what I want to accomplish, even with all of my surgeries and all of the challenges that I have. And skating is just, it's been such a big part of my life and it's really helped shape who I am. I love that. Thank you for telling us. Uh, I now want to introduce uh, another person who's a special friend of Packard Children's Hospital and also a fellow ice skater like you. Uh, she is an Olympic gold medalist, a champion of Dancing with the Stars, and a New York Times best-selling author of children's books. So we want to welcome Christy Yamaguchi. Oh my gosh, is this actually happening? Hi, Caitlin. How are you? I'm so uh, excited I, to hear your passion for figure skating and how it's been uh, an amazing sport for you and giving you so much resilience. And I think you're right, when you love something so much, it does help you get through other challenges in life to think like, oh, I can't wait to do my favorite thing and get back on the ice and skate. So, you know, you're 
such an inspiration uh, to have gone through what you have, 16 surgeries, um, and you're still so incredibly positive and you spread that positivity. So really, you're not just a, a summer scamper hero, you're really a, a hero to all of us. So I just, it gives me uh, such an honor to be able to hear your story and to congratulate you on uh, being a patient hero because you certainly deserve it. I was in complete awe. I was so excited. I honestly, I can only remember half the things she said to me just because I was so excited. And I know you have another favorite skater, Scott Hamilton, who is a dear, dear friend of mine. Such an incredible person on the ice and off the ice. He had experienced cancer and so I could kind of relate to that with all of my medical stuff and just being an Olympic gold medalist for him to do that and to overcome cancer it's just it's really inspired me and showed me that I can do whatever I put my mind to as well. He has a very special message for you so um, here is Scott Hamilton's message. Hi, Caitlin, Scott Hamilton here. Uh, when Christy shared your story with me, I felt compelled to reach out. Man, you've gone through 16 surgeries and yet you continue to persevere. Your fight is so inspiring to me. You know, I've had my own health battles with cancer and, and you know what I say, we get up, right? We are strong, we are resilient. And every time we fall as skaters, we just, get up. Caitlin, um, not only do you get up, but you get up and then scamper on and <laughs> use your story and talents to help other kids. There's nothing more admirable than that. You are a true hero. I also want to say that uh, you are a beautiful skater. I hear your double axle is looking great. I'm so sorry I couldn't be on the call today, but I hope to meet you on the ice someday very soon. So thank you, Caitlin, for all you do to help and inspire all the other kids at the Children's Hospital. Can't wait to see you soon. God bless. When Scott came on, it just took it to a whole nother level. I Thanks. love that. I love that message. Get uh, back up. So good. Thank you so much. It made my whole day, my whole week, honestly. Um, that's probably one of the best things anyone could ever give me is to have my role models just talking to me and encouraging me and it was very, very special. This has made my day, truly. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. No, I think it's well-deserved and you deserve to have a special day to recognize you and, and everything you've done. So congratulations again, Caitlin. And keep up the skating. I hope to see you actually skate the next time. Well, Christy, before you go, uh, would you share with us a little bit about how you've been staying active and how you're going to scamper in place with all of us? <laughs> yes, you know, I think it's making adjustments and um, doing some like bar three exercise classes mm -hmm. online to keep busy and definitely getting my, our little dog tank outside and uh, taking him for a walk. That's definitely kept me a lot more active than um, than I usually am outside. So it's been fun, the adjustment. And today, Caitlin, sorry, I'm in my car. It's our first day back at the ice rink for my daughter, Emma, who skates. But um, slowly, slowly starting to do a few more things that we're allowed to. That's so great. I am gonna be scampering in place with my dog also, uh, who is pretty much tired of, of shelter in place because she has never been on this many walks in her whole life. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Christy, and I want to thank Caitlin for coming and sharing your story and inspiring all of us, uh, especially the kids who are patients and their families, uh, and for helping Packard Hospital so much. You are truly heroes for us. Uh, and I want to thank everyone who is participating, who's joined a team, who's making a gift as part of Summer Scamper 2020. Thank you. You are all heroes for kids. Thank you so much to everyone that's scampering and is making this day possible. Next year, let's scamper in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.